visit to Bayelsa, so I was very, very happy to discover uh, this new state for me. Um, I I'm, I'm was coming actually with an agenda that was very much focusing on economic cooperation, trade, investment, and all those things. Um, but I must say I'm really delighted that the uh, the governor has instructed uh, his uh, administration and to be here with the commissioners who just showed me um, the investments of the state in the domain of education. And I think that um, it is extremely relevant um, uh, and it's very much linked actually to economic cooperation and investment because to, to attract investors and to, do, uh, to diversify the economy and your exportations, you need skilled people. Mm? And to have skilled people, you have to invest in education. So there is no, uh, no surprise that actually um, um, His Excellency the Governor and, and, uh, and his administration brought me to, to, to visit two schools, um, in particular one um, girls, uh, but one is the girls uh, school. And I think that investing in, in girls, investing in women is very smart economics. I remember <laughs> that statement was made by Minister Ngozi a few years ago when I was attending a conference on, on gender empowerment. And she, of course, she's probably the best example uh, <laughs> of a woman uh, that benefited from uh, education, from empowerment, and who was uh, a, great, a great leader of, of Nigeria. So I repeat, investing in, in women is, is smart economics. So I, I cannot but really commend um, His Excellency the Governor of the Bayelsa State to, for uh, putting so much emphasis on, on, on education. What I have seen uh, today uh, illustrates perfectly uh, this political commitment that is translated into uh, practical um, expenditures. And then because, as you know, uh, it costs a lot of money to build schools and to, to to finance uh, the education system in many countries, education is the expenditure number one in a, in a national budget, and I think it should be like that in Nigeria. And each and every, so not only at federal level but also at, at state level, each governor should follow this good example. Thank you.